Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can go into Shopify and change your store's name and the store's URL and domain name. Now why would you do this? Say you've been running a Shopify store for a while and you're just not happy with the results or maybe you are happy with the results but you feel like there's more opportunities elsewhere and you just want to start fresh and rebrand your store. How do you do that? Well I'm going to answer those questions in this video. And by the end of it, you'll know exactly how to rebrand your store's name and URL. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is log into my Shopify dashboard and to change the store's name. Mine is currently the biggest easy. I'm going to go down to settings on the bottom left of the menu. And so once we get to the settings menu, we're going to go to general, which is the first option you can choose. Click on it. And the first thing that comes up is your store's name. Now you can change this to anything you want. You probably should do some research on what kind of names are effective, what kind of names you want to represent your store when you rebrand. So I'm going to change mine to Fountain Pen Emporium. And I'm just going to press Save. And so if we refresh the page, we will see that in the top left, our official store name is Fountain Pen Emporium. So now, once this changes, we are working with our new store name. But we don't stop there, because just changing your store name doesn't actually change the URL. Because when you set up a Shopify store with Shopify, they give you an admin URL, which is the one you see right here. And that basically is the primary domain of your store. So those can't just really change based off of the nature of how domain names work. So if you want to change yours and be more accurate to what it is, um, the biggest easy .com does not really represent Fountain Pen Emporium very well. You need to buy a new domain name or transfer an existing domain name that you already have over. So we can do that by going into our online store on the left-hand menu, going down to domains, and here you'll see your current domain name. And this is going to be the primary domain name if it's the only one. And so if you want to change yours, you can either go to change primary domain if you've already linked other ones, or you can go and buy a domain name. You can also connect existing domain names if you've already purchased one that you want to use. And here you can transfer your domain name if you bought it from a different website that maybe you aren't happy with. You can transfer it to Shopify. So what I'm going to do is, for the sake of this video uh, and ease of understanding it, instead of connecting an existing domain name, I'm just going to buy a new domain name. So we've got the Fountain Pen Emporium. And you can find these for very cheap. So I'm going to buy this one. And as you can see, we've purchased our domain name. And before we do anything else, we need to verify our email address. So once we verify our email address, I will be right back. So now that we've confirmed through the email that we have registered our new domain, we can go and set this as our primary domain. So if we go back to the domain screen through here, and now that we're back at the domain screen, we can see that our domain is connected. So if we want to change our primary domain so that the biggest easy .myshopify.com, which was our old domain, redirects automatically to here, which builds link equity, we can change it through here. And so now we can go to either the Fountain Pen Emporium dot online or www dot the Fountain Pen Emporium online. So this is going to be your choice essentially. With Shopify, you get both of these. Um, I'm just going to make mine the Fountain Pen Emporium dot online, and I'm going to save it. And so as you can see, our primary domain successfully changed. So now no matter if somebody goes to the fountainpenemporium.online or www.thefountainpenemporium.online or the biggest easy.myshopify.store, 
this is where they're going to be sent. And so in the future, this is going to be the primary domain, which means this gets all of the link equity that comes with being a primary domain. These two won't build link equity because these just redirect to this domain. And so that's basically how you do it if you want to rebrand your Shopify store with your store name and your store URL. And that's going to pretty much do it for this video. If you like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below. If you find this video important, or maybe it'll help someone out, feel free to send it to them. And if you feel like these videos help you out pretty often, consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we're pretty much posting content on a pretty regular basis. And if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be sure never to miss a video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.